Well, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another exciting camping video. So here's the deal. I am headed to this lake that's got giant brook trout, but I don't think I could have picked a worse time to do this trip because it's supposed to snow. It snowed last night. It's kind of cleared up right now, but pretty much everywhere around here, it's supposed to get super, super cold, freezing cold, uh, and lots of snow. Thankfully, it's not supposed to snow as much uh, at this lake, but it's still gonna be kind of cold. Of course, the day I plan to do this trip, the weather's gonna be horrible, but I'm not waiting for anything. I'm gonna full send it because I don't know how much time we have left before winter. You never know. In a week, we could get a bunch of snow and that's it for the year. So doing a little camping too. Hopefully we'll be able to start a fire because we're gonna need one. And I got my four wheeler all loaded up with me too because the road's supposed to be kind of rough. But yeah, we still got a little while before we get there. So uh, catch you guys when we get there. folks we have made it we're not at the lake yet but we're at our camping spot found a nice little spot right here we even have some firewood that somebody left and a fire pit um i wanted to find a camping spot first and now that we have we're gonna unload the four-wheeler head to the lake it is almost four o'clock right now so we've only got a like three hours of daylight left and i do want to start a fire and make dinner so we're not going to have a lot of time to fish really at all but i do just want to go check out the lake maybe catch a fish or two this evening but yeah it's it's honestly kind of cold i gotta go put on a jacket oh, oh my goodness it's starting to rain too or no it's snowing some snow just fell on my camera right when i get to the spot it's gonna start snowing all right so i'm not gonna waste any more time i'm gonna unload the wheeler and then we're gonna hop on this trail hopefully get to the lake and just check it out and then we'll come back make a fire and go from there all right folks got the four-wheeler all loaded up got my fishing stuff got two coats on because it's going to be cold. Got a seven mile trek into this lake. Let's go. Finally, took me a lot longer to get here than I was expecting, but we finally made it just parked right here And just since I got here like the, the weather has gotten worse the wind has picked up We got some dark clouds moving in over there I would say the chances of us catching a fish this evening are pretty slim, but we're gonna but we're still gonna try I'm not sure exactly where to start either I think I'm just gonna walk up this shoreline and look for like a spring or somewhere where water's moving in That's usually where the fish are stacking up at so we'll try it out. We came here, so We'll give it everything we got. Can you guys see the snow flurries in the air? Probably not, but it's snowing. We got blue sky, but the wind's blowing in snow from somewhere. So I have walked around half this lake and it's a pretty big lake. So I've walked clear around here and I've just been trudging through this swampy grass for a while now. Okay, we got like a little stream that comes in right here. Yeah, we got some water flowing in. Oh, there's a fish right there. Oh, oh, folks, 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 folks. Oh my goodness. We found them. We found, or we found some. So that stream we just saw comes in right around here. And I just walked up on a few fish. This is the deepest spot we found. It's only like three or four feet deep, but this is the deepest spot I found. And I just spooked like three or four fish. I don't know where they went, but they're still down. Oh, there's one right there. Oh, that's a giant. Okay. Okay. We're going to start right here. All right, folks. So the fly I'm going to start off with 
is this white streamer of some sort. I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but it was sent to me by a subscriber. I really appreciate it, but I just thought this would be perfect for these spawning brook trout because, I mean, you throw like a streamer in front of them, a lot of times they'll just crush it. So we're gonna give it a try right here. Oh, there's one right there. I just keep spooking them, darn it. All right. So I can see one right there, but I... fish on, first cast, first cast we got a fish. Are you serious? First cast we got a fish. What is this? Heck yeah, on the streamer. Dude, yes, first cast fish. It's not a giant, but it is a beautiful colored up male. Holy cow, first cast at this lake. We hook up, I'm a stud brookie. That is not a giant that we're looking for, but it is a great start. On this freaking white streamer sent in by a subscriber. That is so cool. Oh my goodness. Check that fish out. Doesn't get much better than that. Look at the colors on that guy. There it goes. Cool, cool. Beautiful male brook trout. First one of the trip. That is so cool. All right, we're gonna let this guy go and get back down there. Thanks for biting, buddy. Sweet, there he goes. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, let's get back in there. Oh, got him, got him. That guy came out of no, dude, these fish are aggressive. Usually when they're spawning, they're not super aggressive. Like they don't want to eat, but my gosh, that guy came from clear out there and just crushed it. Like he, he was hungry or something. I don't know. Another nice one. <laughs> Next cast. Got him. Another nice male. Beautiful colors. I mean, look at that. That guy had it down his throat. Just pops right out. There we go. Fish number two. Oh, okay. All right. All right. We'll let him go so much fun later got him oh, dude one came up from right there and slammed it like these fish they're they're moving to eat this fly they're not just sitting put and i have to drag it right in front of them these fish are tracking it down like look there's one there's one these fish are coming from the bottom to slam it. There's one, got him, right there. <laughs> Holy cow. They're all about the same size though. I'm not seeing any huge fish down there. Cool. Oh my goodness. This guy's barely skin hooked. Look, it just popped right out like nothing. Look at that. Another nice one. That's number three of the day. Quick catch and release for this guy. Wow, I was honestly thinking that we weren't gonna catch anything because we don't have too much time left to fish anyway and the weather's not great, but I'm glad we found them. <laughs> They're hanging out under that fallen tree that just barely dips in the water right there. Oh, got him, got him. That's a good one, that's a better fish. Picked it right up off the bottom. That is a better fish. Nice. Get in here. That's a toad. That's a toad. Oh my goodness, heck yeah. That is a little bit more like what we're looking for. Chunk. Golly, these fish are beautiful. Oh, settle down. Look at that stud. <sighs> beautiful male brook trout in full spawning colors. One last look at them. There we go. Solid brook trout, biggest one so far. Thanks for the fight, sir. That was certainly fun. See you later. Yeah, it's actually warmed up a bit since that sun came out and the wind slightly died down, enough to where I could take off a jacket. Hopefully it stays like this. Oh, I just picked up a bunch of moss. Shoot, hung up. 
is gonna happen sooner or later. I try to go over there and get it. Oh, got it. Thank goodness. Oh, you serious? I get it unsnagged and then I throw it right back in the same spot. And there's a whole lot of little fish down there. Oh, there we go, there's one. Oh, that's a nice fish, that's a nice one. Oh, I was just letting it rest on the bottom and he picked it up. Look at that guy. Oh, nope, stay out of the tree, stay out of the tree. You are not gonna break me off, nope, nope, nope. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what did I do? What did I just let him get into? Oh no, that was dumb. I just let him get wrapped around that tree. Oh no, okay, there we go. Thank goodness, thank goodness. It's not a bad fish. Oh, I gotta get my net too. <laughs> Come here. Come here, bud. Every single fish down there is pretty, but some of them a little more than others. And this one is a beauty for sure. <sighs> nice. What is that, number four, five? I don't know. That's a good one though. <sighs> Look at that. Gorgeous brook trout. I love it. Get him back. There he goes. Oh, there we go. Got him. Got him. I might have snagged this guy actually. Yeah. Shoot. I didn't mean to. I I couldn't even see my fly. I just lifted up and I had him. Darn it. Yeah, I got him right there in the side. My bad. We will get this guy back quick. Come here. Didn't mean to. Sorry about it. Yeah, just got him right there in the side. We'll just pop it out and get him back quick. All right, well, <laughs> it's uh, not a bad fish, only we didn't really catch him, so. There he goes. All right, I think I'm gonna switch flies. They, they don't want this anymore. Caught a few with it, and then they just kinda get smart to it. So I'm gonna try this little white and green weighted woolly bugger. This was actually one of the first flies I ever used and it's done well for me, so. There we go, there's a good cast. So I'm just letting it sink all the way to the bottom, counting down like 10 to 15 seconds because it sinks super slowly and then I'm just popping it like that and watching my line and if my line starts to go, I got a fish. Like right there, right there. What did I say? My line just started swimming, clear down there. This is a stud, this is a stud. Ha <laughs> ha, now this one might be the biggest one. Get in here, get in here. Whoo, there we go. I think that is, yeah, I think that's just barely bigger than that other one we caught. Pretty close though. He, dude, he like swallowed it. Dang, he wanted that. There we go. Biggest one so far. Absolute beauty. That is what I came for right there. I'll send him back. Another stud brook. Later. Well, that does it for this evening's session of fishing. Definitely better than I was thinking we were gonna do. I think we caught like five, uh, so not bad. But, I mean, it's getting cold. We got like a 20, 25 minute ride back to camp. We got all day tomorrow to fish, so hopefully we can get into some bigger ones. But yeah, that was a lot of fun. Now, let's go back to camp, build a fire, cook some food, and go from there. All right, guys, so we have made it back to camp. That was quite a chilly ride back on the four-wheeler, if I do say so myself. So first order of business is to get a fire going. And thank goodness that somebody left all this firewood because I'm not really in the mood to go comb the forest for firewood right now. All right, please just start. Come on, come on, please. Light, maybe. Yes, 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 maybe, yes. All right, there we go, got the fire going. Hopefully it stays strong. Grab this guy. Oh my gosh, you guys don't even know how good this fire feels. My hands were freezing cold, even with gloves on. But for dinner tonight, we're doing something very simple. 
First of all, we got some cookies in the spirit of Halloween. We've got some orange cookies. Delicious, we're gonna be partaking in some of them for sure. And then we got a tin foil dinner, uh, pre-made, but we got ground beef, carrots, potatoes, onions, cream of chicken, the good stuff. And these actually take longer than you'd think to cook. At least 20 minutes on each side. <laughs> oh, we're getting smoked out. Okay, I don't know if you guys just heard that or can hear it. There's elk bugling over there. There's some elk screaming over there. They're over there. They seem pretty far away, but I can hear them. All right, so we're gonna wait for this fire to burn down a little bit so we can get some coals. And then we're gonna set our tinfoil dinner in. It's too bad it got dark on me, but I mean, it was worth it staying out there to catch those fish. It's supposed to get down to like 30 degrees in the valley tonight. So, I mean, you can imagine it's probably gonna get in the 20s up here at this elevation. And thankfully, I'm just looking at the sky right now. I'm not seeing any clouds, but the weather can change here in five minutes. So we might wake up to snow. Hopefully we don't, but that is a possibility. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and set this on. Now I'll tell you. That wood is burning very hot and very fast. We probably should let it burn down a little bit more, but I'm too hungry. I'm just gonna sit right there. That should be good. So yeah, I'll check on it in about 20 minutes. Let's try one of these cookies out. Mmm, frozen, really good though. I can pretty much guarantee this whole box of cookies will be gone before I go to bed tonight. We'll also enjoy a nice Mountain Dew voltage. Ah. Ah. Nothing better than going to bed smelling like smoke. So it's been on there for probably close to 40 minutes. I did flip it a couple times, so it should be done. I can smell it. Ooh, looking good. The meat is all the way cooked. Potatoes are nice and soft. I think we're looking good, folks. It is done. That looks amazing right there. And that is not a bad looking dinner right there. We are gonna go ahead and season it up with some Santa Maria style seasoning. And it only took like 45 minutes to make. Ooh, that's hot. Wow. <laughs> this is the best. I say that all the time, but this is really like the best camping meal ever. Oh man. That is so freaking good. Oh, we're getting smoked out though. Jeez, it's my superpower, no matter where I move. We're gonna eat this and then probably go to bed pretty soon. It's like 8.30 and I'm gonna try to wake up somewhat early, but it's probably gonna be very, very cold in the morning. So I'm just gonna wait until it warms up a little bit. Then we're gonna catch some more big fish. Can't wait. All right guys, well, we are calling it for the night. I am super tired. Um, let the fire burn out. I'm just sleeping in the back of the truck. Got my sleeping bag, so we're all good. Hopefully the weather gets better tomorrow. It's getting really windy out there. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but yeah, I'm gonna get some sleep, get up as early as I can, and catch some big brook trout tomorrow. It's gonna be fun. So I'll see you guys in the morning. I'm gonna make a little fire just to warm up. Because it's cold. Yeah, the wind's already picking up a little bit. I don't think it's supposed to be as windy today, but I mean, you, you never know, you never know. All right, so we're just gonna cook up a little oatmeal this morning. Heat up some water. We got blueberries and cream and strawberries and cream. Yummy, yummy.
Voila. You know, a lot of people would say that this is the prime fishing hours, but I don't care. It's cold and I can catch fish just as fine in the afternoon. Maybe not, but I'm not a morning person. I'd rather just sit by the fire. shoot <sighs> yeah the wind was blowing pretty hard last night knocked down this tree blocked our path this is actually the third tree that I've seen I cleared the other two but this is definitely the biggest one. Oh my gosh I hope we can move it let's try it out all right so there's no way I'm getting this log moved but I uh, improvised and we're gonna try to climb over it I laid down some more logs and I don't know we're gonna try to climb it I I don't know if this is gonna work if it doesn't we'll have to figure something else out all right so my GoPro died but I cleared it oh, I had to add a bunch of rocks right there too well that was not fun gonna be a pain coming back hopefully someone comes with a chainsaw and clears it within the next couple hours and hopefully there's no more falling trees on the trail we have made our way back to the same spot we were catching them last night and I can see them down there already they haven't moved but I did something very very stupid I left my chest mount at the truck the little strap that I attached the GoPro to it's at the truck and it's too long of a ride to be like oh I forgot it let me go get it no so we're stuck without it the rest of the day so that really really sucks i mean it could be worse i could have left my camera but dang it dude so i'm gonna try to figure out a way to attach you guys to my chest without it being too shaky but uh, we're gonna start off with the same little white woolly bugger that we were getting them on yesterday or one of the flies we were getting them on yesterday let's try this out all right so i've got the gopro kind of in my jacket uh it'll have to work it's not great, but I'll try to keep you guys as steady as possible. That really sucks. I always forget something, and this time it was something kind of important. Got him. No, no. Ah, how'd I miss that? How'd I miss it? Got him. Got him. There we go. Just left it sitting on the bottom, bounced it a couple times, and he came and slurped it up. First one of the day. It's a good fish. It's a good fish, though. Nice. How about that? Cool, cool. Good start to the day. Chunky brook trout. That's a nice one. Good start to the morning. Hooked right there in the roof of the mouth. Just pops right out. Nothing better than fall time brook trout. Beautiful fish, we'll get them back. That water is freezing cold. Wow. <sighs> Got him. Got him. Got him. That's a good one. Watched him pick it up. It's a little bit bigger one. That's a little bit bigger. Nice. Who? No. Don't go over to that tree. And in the net. In the net, baby. That's a stud. Stud and a half. Very nice cast, too. There we go. Another nice fish. This is so much fun. Beautiful male brook trout. Second one of the morning. Hopefully it's the one of many today. Nice, nice. We'll send him back. Send him back. There he goes. Sweet. All right, let's go for number three. 
Oh, is she gonna do it? Yep, she did. I think that's a female, yep. Uh, I don't know. She was just sitting right there on the bottom. I just drug it right in front of her and she, she moved towards it and she decided to take it. That's the first female we've caught. Pretty fish. I think it's a female. Hold on, I can't tell. Yeah, yeah, it's a female. Or I, I actually have no idea, I don't know. Either way, this one's not quite as pretty compared to the other ones we've caught. I mean, it still is, but the colors just aren't quite as vibrant. Just got them right there in the side of the mouth. Pop it out. Third one of the morning, we'll just get her back quick. Or whatever the heck you are. Man, woman, whatever. Oh. Ooh, one, one's coming in, one's coming in hot. One came in hot to look at it, but he kind of lost interest. Darn, that's why once I have their attention, I start like stripping it and popping like that because that just triggers something in them and they just want to kill it. Oh, what the heck do we have here? My line's all knotted up. How, how did that even happen? I literally did nothing and it's in a knot. That's, that's, un, that's amazing to me. All right, so they're definitely losing interest in that little white woolly bugger. So I've got this purple woolly bugger on and I don't know. I don't know if color is going to make a difference, but we'll see. Oh, there we go. There's one. There's one. There's one. I was just stripping it. That's a beautiful fish. Wow. The colors on some of these are just like epic. This one's bright red. Nice. Nice. Cool, cool. I kind of hooked him on the top of the nose. So I'm hoping I didn't snag him. I'm hoping he just took a swipe at it. Yeah, I got him right there in the nose. Sorry about that. That's another good fish. I'll take it. Thank you for biting. That was fun. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yep. There's a big group of them right there. And I was just popping it next to him. And this guy comes down and grabs it. It's usually like one out of ten that looks at it. Goes for it. On the purple woolly bugger. This is one of the nicer ones down there. I'm really not seeing any giant fish. Like, you know. Oh, come here. I'm seeing a lot more small fish than I was expecting. Like, I haven't caught any, but there's a lot of, like, 10 inches down there. So, I mean, like I said yesterday, I think there might be a little bit of an overpopulation problem in this lake because I feel like there should be some bigger fish. But I mean, not to say that this isn't a big fish. It is, but I mean, this is one of the bigger ones that I've seen down there. That is what I came here for. Beautiful brook trout. See ya. All right, got this little rubber egg tied on. Let's try it out. I'm just gonna let it sink right down to them and see what their reaction is. Oh, one's looking at it. Another one's looking at it. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. Oh my goodness, dude. Yep. No, I missed him. He went for it though. He went for the rubber egg. That was cool. Let's try that again. I'm just letting it sink all the way to the bottom and then they're just kind of coming over like, what's that? Oh, got one, got one. Oh my gosh, I wasn't paying attention. And we got one on the rubber egg. I just kind of lift it up and <laughs> I had a fish. This is just a little female. That's interesting. So, so far we've just been catching uh, the males with the woolly buggers and stuff, but right when I toss a rubber egg down there, we get a female. I wonder if that has anything to do with it. This is the first fish I've ever caught with an artificial egg. Look at that. She wanted it. We'll let her go. Thanks for biting, girl. All right, well, we'll do that again. Just tossing it down there and letting it slowly sink down. Oh, got her. Oh, shoot. 
I watched him. He came right, as soon as I lifted it up, he just darted over and grabbed a hold. But the thing is the hook on this is super, super tiny and it's barbless. So probably gonna miss a lot of fish. There's one, there's another one. Another one grabbed it. Dude, maybe the egg is the deal. The egg might be the move. Got her. Sweet. Golly, these fish are so beautiful. I could catch them all day. Pops right out. Just look at the colors and patterns on that fish. You can see where the tiger trout get their pattern. Because tiger trout are part brook trout, if you didn't know. Man, that is so cool. Send him back. Flip it out there, let it sink. And fish are coming from everywhere to come look at it. Oh, oh, one just came right over to it, inhaled it and spit it out. Another one, another one, got him, got him. That's a nice fish, that's a good one. He picked it right up off the rock that it was sitting on. That's a nice one. Heck yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is so much fun. Holy cow. This fish is putting up a fight. I got him in the mouth, so I didn't snag him. I mean, I watched him eat it, but he's fighting like, oh my gosh, look at that fish. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, this is a big one. Oh my goodness. That is the biggest fish. Look at that freaking pig on the rubber egg. Pops right out. Look at that. Oh, no. There he goes. <laughs> I didn't get a good look at him, but hopefully you guys saw him. Quick catch and release. That was the biggest one. Wish I could have gotten a picture of him, but oh well. Got her. That's just a baby. That is, okay, so there are a bunch of these size fish down there, like a bunch of them, but I have not been able to get one of them to bite until just right now. Man, he, oh man, he came out of nowhere and crushed it. Like he actually came in as fast as he could. Yeah, dude, that's a, just a little guy. There are a whole bunch of them down there, but this is the first one I've gotten to take it. Pretty fish, but not the size we're looking for. It should just pop right out, it's barbless. There it goes. All right, little guy. Come back in a year or two when you're a little bigger. So there's ice all over my guides. Like, it is cold out here. Oh, oh. Got him. Dude. <laughs> that guy spotted it and he's like, no. No way. I think they're, they're not eating it because they're hungry. They're eating it because they want to limit the competition by getting rid of other eggs. Oh, get out of that tree. Get out of that tree. Yeah, dude, that guy, he came over. He did not want it there. It's just cool to watch how these fish react because, I mean, they're right here. And it's crystal clear water, so you can see exactly how they react to your flies. Another nice fish. See you later. Got him, got him, that's a nice one. That's a nice one on the egg. That was not the bigger one. I missed an even bigger one down there. This one was right behind him. Ooh, nice, solid little fish. It's so cool watching them attack this egg. They'll just sit there and watch it for a minute and then if I like twitch it or something, then they'll just come over and smoke it. It's super cool to watch. All right, let's get back in there. Got him, got him, got him. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. Yeah, ha <laughs> Heck yeah. The bites have definitely slowed down. We're not getting very many, but we're still getting them every now and then. Come here. 
That's not a bad one. That's one of the nicer ones. Sweet. Cool, cool. I have lost track. Like, I don't even know how many I've caught. I have caught a lot. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know. Probably caught 20 fish by now. And they're nice fish. Beautiful, beautiful. This might be one of the last fish we catch. And it's a good one. Wow. <laughs> nice fish. <laughs> I'll take it. There he goes. Sweet. Oh, he's just sitting right there. Hey, bud, you're free. Well, there's a bald eagle over there. Wow. That is cool. Got him. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. I dropped it in a group of like four or five of them, and I was like, one of them's going to go for it. Oh, he popped. Oh, got him, got him, got her. Got him on the ice cream cone chronomid. Man, so I switched from the egg because they just weren't showing as much interest in it anymore. So I was like, why not just try a chronomid? And this girl was just sitting on the bottom and I just dragged it right in front of her and she just whew, nailed it, pinned it right in the rocks. Nice, another fat female, heck yeah. Yep, just pinned her right in the nose with that chronomid. Never fails. Nice fish. There she goes. Got him. Got him. Got him on the chronomid. Nice. Oh, this guy's fighting. This guy's fighting. Nice. Another beautiful fish. Just pinned him right there in the nose. There we go. Cool, cool. Beautiful fish. Alright guys, well I am heading out of here. Um, we caught a lot of fish. I don't even know how many, but it wasn't getting boring, it was just getting repetitive. But you cannot complain when you're catching fish like that. That was a lot of fun. But it's like two o'clock and I wanna check out another lake that's got some tiger trout and rainbows and maybe we'll keep one of them do a catch and cook. But until next time, this is a fun spot. I love those fall time brookies, but yeah. Let's go check out that other lake. Here we are folks, lake number two, absolutely beautiful. We've got a little creek that runs in over here. It is cold. And I mean, there's probably some fish just right out here waiting for food. Let's try it out. And I'm just using a little purple woolly bugger. I'm gonna strip it in, see if something wants to chase it. Ooh, it is cold. It feels colder now than it was a few hours ago. Oh, there was a hit. Oh, there was a hit. First bite. It didn't feel too big. It was just kind of a little... Oh, I can see them down there. Yeah, I can see fish down there. I think they're little rainbows. I could be wrong. Got him. Got him. Oh, I think I snagged this guy. I thought I saw him go for it, but... No, I snack. Wait, what is that? Oh, it's a tiger trout. Yep, look at that. It's just a very lightly colored up tiger trout. Shoot. Got him right there in the stomach. I saw him swipe at it and I just kind of set the hook. Unfortunately, we just got him right there in the side. Just fell right out though. First fish from this lake and second species of the day, little tiger trout. Cool, cool, I'll take it. Just toss him back. Three hours later. All right, well that lake was kind of a bust. We caught one tiger trout and I didn't even catch him. I snagged him. So I don't even know if you can really count that. But I walked around the whole lake. Didn't really see any fish. I mean, I saw a few right at that, where that stream came in, but that's it. It's kind of a bust. So there's one more lake I want to check out. Uh, it's got some rainbows and 
I don't know what else, but hopefully we can end the day, catch a few more fish. So yeah, let's go try it out. Here we are, our third and final lake. Uh, there's rainbow trout in here and I think that's it, but you never know. So let's give it a try. We've only got like an hour and a half of daylight left. It's pretty shallow right here and I'm not seeing anything. So I'm gonna keep walking around. Okay, so this looks pretty good. Uh, there's actually a power plant right here and there's a bunch of water that's just pouring out and it's fenced off obviously I can't go over there but there might be a lot of fish just right here. There we go, there's a fish, there's a fish, there's a fish. He's not very big. Yep, just a little rainbow. <laughs> I'll take it though and you know what folks, we're gonna keep this guy. Cause it's, it's, it's dinner time. We haven't eaten since this morning. I'll cook a rainbow for dinner. Why not? Probably gonna keep another one cause that's not a ton of food, but there we go. Spunky little rainbow on that white woolly bugger. Not quite as exciting as those brook trout we were catching, but fish is a fish, man. I'll take it. I'm gonna kill this guy real quick and then we'll get back in there. All right, let's try that again. Hopefully there's some bigger ones in here. Thankfully the wind's working with us at this lake. The wind's blowing this way, so it's helping me cast. There we go, there's another one. There's another one. It's another rainbow about the same size, maybe a little bit bigger. Yeah, a little bit bigger. I'm gonna keep this guy too. Why not? That is a nicer fish, heck yeah. Oh yeah, that's a solid rainbow. Sweet, look at that. Golly, this guy's gonna taste delicious, I already know it. Still not a huge one, bigger than that other one though. And that woolly bugger just pops right out. Nice, cool, nice little rainbow. He's gonna taste good in the pan. Take him to our sacrificing stone here. All right guys, so no more fish from that last lake. Uh, it's kind of weird I caught two in a row like right off the bat and then for like the next 15 minutes didn't get a single bite I could see some fish rolling out there, but you know, they just weren't biting I probably could have stayed and caught more if I moved around to a deeper spot But it's getting cold. It's getting dark and I do have those two fish that we're gonna cook up right here Just found a nice little camping area and I'm gonna break out my stove cook some fish All right. So I've got this burner because you know, it's pretty windy. Golly. I gotta clean this stove it's getting a little dirty oh that feels so good warm up my hands a little bit first thing we'll take some butter melt that down All right, then we'll take our fish, beautiful rainbow. Already skinned them and everything. We'll just set them in there. We might as well just cook both of them, so toss that one in too. And then we'll let them just slow cook in that butter. Then we'll season them up with some black gold garlic pepper. This stuff's pretty good. Ooh, comes out fast. You know, I am actually going to cover it just to kind of help it cook a little uh, better and to trap some of that moisture in there because I don't want those fish to dry out. There we go. Ooh, cooking along nicely. Oh yeah, they're looking good. They're smelling good too. Okay, this is really random, but I have some Palo Santo Hollywood purifying insect stick, incense sticks. And I've had these in my truck for over a year at this point. My aunt saw this at some kind of store and got them for me. But you're supposed to burn them and I don't know. And it warns evil spirits away, I don't know. But it smells really good. And I've just had this sitting in my truck forever and I still haven't opened it. But I don't know, figure we might as well burn one on camera, why not? Well, that smells super good though. 
I mean, what kind of wood is this? Palo Santo is a wild tree native from the Yucatan Peninsula to Peru and Venezuela. To use, light the stick with a match, candle, or lighter. Let it burn 30 to 60 seconds and blow flame out carefully. Okay. Okay, it's burning. Oh, it was burning. There we go. There we go. Look at that. So I guess you're supposed to blow it out after a minute and then it smells really good. Dude, this wood smells so good. Like I would burn this in my house. That sounded weird. All right, so it's been about a minute. Go ahead and blow it out. That's a very interesting smell. Okay, well, the smell's kind of fading now, but that was, that's interesting. I, I've just had this bag of sticks in my truck for like a year now. Cool. Holy wood. Okay, let's check these guys out. Woo, that's hot. That's hot. Oh, would you look at that. I would reckon to say these fish are just about done. In fact, we might be able to just pull the bones off them. Yeah, look at that. The meat's just crumbling apart. Yeah, the bones are just falling out. Look at that, the meat just falls right off. I don't even have to pull it off. Here we go. And then we're just left with a bunch of, a big pile of fresh rainbow trout. It's still like that thick part right there is still a little bit raw, so we're gonna let it cook for a little while longer, but it's just about done. Hit it with a little bit more seasoning. Look at that. Just fish swimming in butter. Oh my goodness, if you guys could smell this right now. We are gonna go ahead and dig in right here. Get all the bones out. Let's go ahead and try a bite. There we go. Fresh rainbow trout from the lake. Caught about an hour ago. Ooh, oh you guys know it. That is delicious. Dude, there's nothing better than fishing all day, catching a bunch of fish, and then cooking one up. This is good. And I did forget my, I, I don't know where my forks are. I always forget something. I have a bunch of spoons and knives. I don't have a single fork with me for this trip. Ridiculous. Mmm. Cooked to absolute perfection. This fish is super tender. It's just crumbling apart. It almost like melts in your mouth. Look at that. I always think I get all the bones out, but I always miss like a handful. For just a little stocked rainbow trout, this isn't bad. All right guys, well that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. It was a fun day, day and a half out here. Caught a lot of nice brook trout. Yeah, it was a fun day out here. Very thankful we didn't get snowed on, although it was very cold. It definitely didn't get above 35 degrees today, all day. Like there was ice on the guides of my rods. It was bad, but we made it happen. We caught some nice fish. I am very pleased. But if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. If you wanna check out the fly rod I was using, I will leave a link to the description below. But other than that, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.